This is the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. Now get ready and watch the skies as Tinkerbell lights up Cinderella Castle. Please welcome Sting. So you wiggle the chicken. Mm -hmm. No what is it? Put your hand in the ear, make me sit and it don't sound hey. So jingle and jingle. No okay, jingle. That is the jingle bell. It's how you jingle bell. Come to the jingle bell around. Do it, John. This is how you feel. And this is the game in a dance house that in a Spanish. Celebration! Merry Christmas! I wanna wish you a 
to be here, Matthew. Um, hosting tonight is like a wish come true. Well, if you've got wishes, you're in luck because this is the most magical place on earth. Now, I know all of you at home have finished the turkey, polished off the pumpkin pie, and are ready to ring in the holiday season with us. Yes, oh, I absolutely love the holidays. Oh, me too, absolutely. No, no, I love the holidays. I mean, I'm obsessed. The lights, the decorations, the food, the music, and the sweater sting. I love the sweaters. The sweaters? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you, you really are a fan. Oh. You have no idea. Okay, well, if you're such a fan, then you have to go to all the parks because they are all celebrating the holidays. <gasps> yes! Yes! That is a brilliant idea, Matthew. I'm going to go to all four parks tonight. <laughs> okay, no, I, I, I didn't mean tonight. I mean, this is only a two-hour show. And Walt Disney World is a very big place. My feelings, exactly. So, I better get on with it. See you later. No, Emma. Emma, Emma. Uh... Okay, while Emma is off making her holiday wish come true, let me introduce you to our co-host on the other coast, Jesse Palmer. Hi, Matthew and Emma. You know, it is so great to be back here at the most magical holiday celebration around. And I see you guys had my friend Tinkerbell help light up Cinderella Castle. Well, look, I don't want to make you jealous or anything, but Tink will also be lighting up Sleeping Beauty's Winter Castle here at Disneyland Resort later tonight. No jealousy here, Jesse. It's all in the holiday spirit. All right, our next performers have three Grammy wins, and you'll soon be able to catch them on their holiday tour starting later this month. Here to perform Deck the Halls from their album Best of Pentatonix Christmas from Disney's Hollywood Studios, please welcome Pentatonix. <laughs> Pentatonix really knows how to bring that holiday spirit. Oh, and speaking of holiday spirit... Oh, did you know the entire Magic Kingdom is dressed up like a wonderland of holiday cheer? And look, holiday is very me, don't you think? Absolutely. <laughs> well, wait until you see Main Street USA. It's like a holiday dream sequence. Now, there's a lot left to see. You think you can do it in time? Oh, trust me, I've got this. All right, I believe in you. Let's see if your holiday wish comes true. <laughs> We've got a lot more coming up. Help us kick off the holiday season when we come back. Tonight, dazzling performances from Disneyland Resort and Walt Disney World Resort. Featuring Allie Brooke, Emma Bunton, violinist Lindsay Sterling, Matthew Morrison, Ingrid Michaelson, and Andy Grammer. Celebrated rock band Portugal the Man with the first ever performance from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And more to come from acapella sensation Pentatonix, reggae superstar Shaggy, and the one and only... Plus, a special sneak peek at the all-new Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Get ready to ring in the holidays on the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. Happy holidays from Disney's Frozen 2. I love this time of year. Family, food. I'll bring the snacks! Buying gifts for the reindeer and snowmen in your life. You guys haven't actually started shopping yet, have you? Weeks oh, we're done. Yeah. Hey, oh, well, me too. I, uh, I gotta go. Ooh. 
Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. Oh my goodness, Christmas in Epcot is amazing. It's the celebrating holidays at 11 different countries at the same time. It's amazing. Feliz Navidad, my friend. That's Spanish for Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, I know. I was a Spanish teacher for six years. So. Oh, wow. Oh, you've got to try these. Oh my goodness, they're mini churros. They're so delicious. I don't know how I lived without them. Wow. Well, I'm glad your Disney Christmas is coming together. Remember, you still have, what is it, two? Oh, two, two, two right. more parks. I can't wait. Well, you can't officially launch the holiday season without some holiday spectacle. And our next performer is an expert at that. Absolutely. She's a dancer, songwriter, and a two-time Billboard award-winning violinist. Please welcome Lindsay Sterling. Wonderful, Lindsay. Thank you. Absolutely spectacular. And so are these Minnie Mouse holiday cookies. I got them right over there. <laughs> Wait, are they as good as the cookies on your Great American Baking Show holiday edition premiering on ABC December 12th? Yes, hosted by me, Emma Bunsen. Oh, yes, they are. And I know about cookies. Right now, we're going to head over to our friend, Jesse Palmer at Disneyland Resort. I'm here with Portugal the Man at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge next to the famous Millennium Falcon. Did you guys know, by the way, no pressure, you're all going to be the first band to perform live right here at Galaxy's Edge. How does that feel? Now I'm nervous that you said that. Uh, but no, this thing's incredible. Um, I've been saying like the uh, we've got to play some amazing places all around the world. Nothing even remotely close to this. This is... Uh, this is doing it for us. Anytime you have the Millennium Falcon as a backdrop on stage, that's got to be pretty cool. Now, you guys have never performed a Christmas song before, so what can our viewers at home expect from this version from Portugal the Man? We're extra rehearsed. We practice more for this than anything else. 
I think we're going to do a really good job. And I understand you also had a chance to ride the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. How'd that go? We did really bad the first time. Second time, we pulled it together, and I think we the next run's going to be perfect. Uh, uh, bonus question, who got to, to shoot it into hyperdrive? Zoe did on the first oh. time, then I did on the second time. So much fun stuff to do here. And there's uh, something else fun for you guys to try next time, too. Uh, throughout the parks, there are special spots where Disney fans have been taking pics. And all night, we'll be checking out some of these famous Instagram walls. Take a look. I have to take a picture in front of the purple wall, of course. <laughs> My bow tie good. Christmas from the Magic Kingdom. Hey, Slinky Dog! <laughs> when Disney Magical Holiday Celebration oh, returns, Portugal the Man wishes everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Our hosts, Emma Bunton and Matthew Morrison, each grace the stage with some classic holiday favorites. And next, a new original holiday duet from Ingrid Michaelson with Andy Grammer, here on ABC. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. Hey, everybody! We're the cast of the new Disney Plus original series, High School Musical. The Musical. The Series. And we are super excited to be here. It's always fun to hang out together. Right? What's not to love? From our family to yours. Happy Holidays! Go Wildcats! Welcome back to the Magic Kingdom where we're busy ringing in the holiday season. I see you've been busy, Emma. <laughs> oh, you were so right, Matthew. Main Street, USA, during the holidays, is like walking into a classic Christmas movie. I think it even snowed. It actually did, yes. Um, <laughs> but, it's, but it's all part of the Disney magic. You know, watching you experience all this really makes me... Jealous. I know. I'm sorry. I, I was going to say happy. Oh, did I say jealous? I, I meant happy. Of course. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's time to check in with Jesse Palmer over at It's a Small World, which I went on with my children today, and I cannot stop singing that adorable song. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after Jessie. all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. Oh, yeah, that song. I mean, once you hear it, it stays with you for the rest of your life. And that's a good thing, too. Trust me. So as you can see behind me, It's a Small World is decked out for the holidays, and it's a great setting for this very special duet. She's a singer-songwriter with nine albums under her belt, and his mega-hit single, Honey, I'm Good, was certified triple Platinum. So here to perform Christmas Valentine, please welcome Ingrid Michelson and Andy Grammer. Christmas tree that I remember from all 
And there's more to come here on the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. Coming up. Watch out, Santa is coming. A special holiday performance of Santa Claus is coming to town from Allie Brooke. Plus, legendary rocker Sting. One, two, three, say about you. Acapella sensation Pentatonix. And Shaggy brings his unique Caribbean style to a Christmas classic. Disney! When the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration returns. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. <laughs> Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. Looks like I'm ringing in the holidays alone tonight. Emma should be here introducing the next performer, but instead she's out there somewhere making her holiday wish come true. Hey, Matthew. I'm in Toy Story Land, Matthew. Oh, well, I figured you must be somewhere awesome. Is your adventure living up to your holiday expectations? It's beyond, Matthew, beyond. Look at these adorable ears. Andy's backyard is all done up for the holidays. Even Rex has some homemade antler ears on. It's just the cutest. Toy Story Land is one of my favorite places. Well, how do you feel about introducing our next performer? I would love to. Performing Jamaican drummer boy is an artist with a string of hits spanning over 20 years, which have earned him two Grammy Awards. Please welcome back to the Cinderella Castle stage, Shaggy. <laughs>
Let's give it up once again for Shaggy. Yeah. That's a lot of words there. That's a lot of words. <laughs> well, you've performed all over the world to every audience imaginable. What's it like performing here at Walt Disney World? Uh, listen, can you get over this audience right here? I know. I know. <laughs> they really are amazing. I mean, this, this is wild, man. You know what I mean? This is excitement. This is my, you know, just being here is, oh, look at them. I know. And quite a backdrop, too. And a backdrop. I mean, oh, we're winning. We're winning. Winning, winning, winning. Is there any holiday tradition that you look forward to in your home? Uh, besides opening presents? Yeah. Food. Food. Lots of food. Solid answer. Good cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can listen to Shaggy and other performances from tonight on the Disney Parks Magical Holiday Playlist on Apple Music. Let's go over to Emma in Toy Story Land. How's Christmas season looking over there? So Christmassy, Matthew. Just look at the toys here in Andy's backyard. Toys are really magical because they can put a smile on a child's face. This holiday season, Walt Disney Television has again partnered up with Toys for Tots. Just drop off an unwrapped toy to any Disney store and make a child's Christmas wish come true. Here's more about the toy drive and what else you can do to help. Joy, it comes in all shapes and sizes. It bounces, reflects, and shines bright. Joy can light up the sky and bring the biggest smile to the smallest face. Every kid deserves a little joy, a toy. It's not just a thing. It's a chance to spread joy from one person to another and say your joy matters. This holiday season, help to share the joy. Join the world's ultimate toy drive and donate a new unwrapped toy to Toys for Tots. Go to toysfortots.org slash holiday for details. Still to come? A performance of a Christmas classic, Santa Baby, from our very own Emma Bunton. Portugal the Man and Superstar Sting help us kick off the holidays. When the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration returns. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. On behalf of the cast, the crew, all the writers of American Housewife, we'd like to say... Happy Holidays. From the American Housewife family, we wish you the best holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays from our family at Stumptown. Yeah, I got it right off the rack. Fits like a glove. You know, you've probably never worn jackets before, though, so. Oh, welcome back. Say hello to my little friends here. They're part of the new holiday entertainment throughout Disney's Animal Kingdom. Right now, our kickoff to the holidays continues with another festive performance. She's been on a wish-fulfilling trip around the parks all night long, but right now, she's at Cinderella Castle stage, ready to put her own spin on a classic holiday tune. You first met her as a member of the biggest selling girl group of all time. You may call her Baby Spice, but I call her my co-host. Please welcome Emma Bunton. Thank you. 
That was awesome. We've got so much more ahead, including Portugal Demand with a first ever performance from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Don't go away. Coming up. Acapella group Pentatonix returns with another holiday classic. We get a sneak peek at the all-new attraction, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. And Portugal the Man brings on the holiday spirit with a first-ever performance in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. When Disney magical holiday celebration continues, right here on ABC. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. <laughs> my wish is to be in Disney World with my family and friends. Oh, wait, wait. I'm already here. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We just arrived here on Batu to deliver a very important message. The Resistance needs your help. A transport filled with members of the Resistance has been captured by a First Order Star Destroyer. Are you ready to handle this adventure and stop Kylo Ren? Well, you better be, because here, at the all-new Star Wars Rise of the Resistance attraction, it opens on December 5th here at Walt Disney World and on January 17th at Disneyland Resort. Check it out and may the force be with us all. Every visitor to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is gonna love the most epic attraction we've ever built. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. This attraction invites you to be a recruit of the Resistance to stand up against the First Order. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into a spaceship that's going to take off from this planet to go rendezvous with the rest of the Resistance. We find ourselves actually being taken captive by the First Order as we make an action-packed escape off of this Star Destroyer, coming face-to-face -face with Stormtroopers, X-Wings, TIE Fighters, massive laser cannons, lightsabers and droids, and even Kylo Ren himself. And if we make it back in one piece, we'll be celebrated as heroes of the Resistance. Now, as soon as I join the Resistance, this baby will be all mine. Just imagine me flying through space, blasting TIE Fighters. Wow, do you even know how to pilot a Starfighter? Nope. <laughs> Okay, uh, why don't we introduce our next holiday performance. Their hit single, Feel It Still, took the world by storm and earned them a Grammy for best pop performance. It's heating up in here. Ladies and gentlemen, here with the first ever performance from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, please welcome Portugal the Man. I'm gonna go get my fight. i 
on the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. Pentatonix sings a holiday favorite. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. And Matthew Morrison takes his turn center stage. Plus, R2-D2 and BB-8 are here with a behind-the-scenes look at the legacy of Star Wars, only on ABC. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. If I could wish upon a star, I would wish for everyone to feel loved. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from all of us at A Million, a million Little Things. things. <laughs> Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. And you know, the holidays are not just about twinkling lights or pumpkin pie and stockings by the fire. No, they're also about one of my favorite things, college football and my colleague at ESPN College Game Days, Maria Taylor, and some of her friends are gonna give us a little sneak peek. As you know, the holiday season also means the college football playoff. And as an ESPN commentator, people ask me, Maria, how does the selection committee choose those top four teams? Well, it looks like this. Thank you. The selection committee gets together for a debate. And finally, they choose their top four teams. <laughs> okay, it's obviously not that simple, but you get the idea. Find out who's in on December 8th at noon Eastern when the answer is unveiled at the College Football Playoff Selection Show exclusively on ESPN. Good job, Donald. <laughs> I love that you're really getting into the Christmas spirit now. Oh, you yes. look like you were having way too much fun, so I couldn't resist. <laughs> There's something missing now, I think. Oh, well done. Oh. Ah, that's much better. <laughs> Shall I introduce the next performer? Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay. <laughs> uh, here they are once again performing. Here comes Santa Claus. Please welcome back Pentatonix. Yeah! Here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Big Santa Blitzen and all his reindeer pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hey, your song is and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. 
Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He'll come around when the chimes ring out, it's Christmas morning again. Peace on earth will come to all if we just found a lie. So let's give thanks to the Lord above. Here comes Santa Claus, come to Santa Claus. and Christmas is the perfect holiday combo. Not a question there. We've got so much more holiday magic coming your way. Don't go anywhere. Our Disney holiday celebration continues with the incomparable Sting. Plus, festive performances from Allie Brooke and Matthew Morrison. Happy holidays, Disney World. When we continue right after this on ABC. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. <laughs> Favorite day about the holidays is love. <laughs> Welcome back. I want to say a few words about our next performer. He's a multi-talented artist. He's an accomplished actor. And he's got a new album of Disney classics called Disney Dreaming with Matthew Morrison coming out next year. And most importantly, he's the best partner you could dream of for sharing holiday wishes. Please welcome my co-host. You've guessed it. It's Matthew Morrison. <laughs> When a star is born, they possess a gift or two. One of them is this. They have the power to make a wish come true. All right, it's cold out there, everyone. Let's get warm. Snap your fingers with me. <laughs> when you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to you. If your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. is frightful but the fire is so delightful and since we've no place to go let it snow let it snow let it snow it doesn't show signs of stopping but I brought some corn for popping the lights are turned way down low let it snow
here with rock icon and my fellow Englishman, Sting! Amazing! Uh, so I understand this isn't your first time you've performed at Walt Disney World. No. Re really? When? In 1979, I performed in Tomorrowland with the police. Wow. I was the singer in the police. Yes, I know that very well. Do you go on any rides? Oh, yes, we went on Space Mountain. Oh, oh that's a, that's a yeah. hardcore. Um, what are some of the holiday traditions you have at home? I mean, because I, my family, we wear the same pajamas. We all kind of coordinate. That's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> have you got any traditions? Um, we always sit around the fire. We have a nice fireplace. You can walk in, and I, I like to sit with my dogs. Oh. My dogs are lovely. Oh. And my children, and my grandchildren. Oh, of course, grandchildren. Yeah. Love My wife, that. Trudy. Hi, Trudy. Hi, Trudy. Um, I know that this January, you begin the US tour of your acclaimed musical, The Last Ship. Can you tell us a bit more about it? It's set in my hometown in the north of England, and it's about a shipyard. And it's the story of, of the shipyard. And uh, we were in Toronto last January. And we're going to be in L.A. for a, a month. And then San Francisco, Detroit, Washington, D.C. And I think Minneapolis. Wow, you're a busy man. I'm going to come and see that. I can't you have wait. to. I definitely will. Uh, thank you, Sting. You're brilliant. We love you. Uh, we're really looking forward to your next performance as well. Please do. Yes, we are. <laughs> Still to come... Allie Brooke with a classic holiday performance of Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Santa Claus is coming to town. And the legend Sting returns as Tinkerbell lights up Sleeping Beauty Castle from Disneyland Resort. All on the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. Hi everybody, I'm Taryn Killam. And you know who I am. From all of us at Single Parents, happy holidays. My name is Layton. Layton Meester. My name is Cameron. Cameron Lewis. Happy holidays from all of us at Single Parents on ABC. Okay, I'm gonna take a wild guess here. You made it to Animal Kingdom. All four parks. Yeah. Welcome to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration, where wishes really do come true. I gotta say, Emma, you weren't kidding when you said you really were fanatical about the holidays. I know. And it isn't over yet, my friend. We still have one more incredible castle lighting at Sleeping Beauty Castle. You're right. And that only happens at Disneyland. There's still a Disney Christmas sweatshirt somewhere with my name on it. Where is it? <laughs> I can't wait. All right, our next performer bursts onto the music scene as part of the mega hit group Fifth Harmony. And she's not only catching fire as a solo artist, she's scorched the dance floor on Dancing with the Stars this season. Here to perform a holiday classic, please welcome Ali Brooke. <laughs>
more Disney holiday magic coming up, including another performance from Portugal Demand at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Plus Sting and Shaggy from the Magic Kingdom. And remember, on December the 25th, we'll be back to celebrate the big day with Disney Park's Magical Christmas Day Parade. Take a look. The magic of the holidays continues with Disney Park's Magical Christmas Day Parade. A holiday tradition with all your favorite Disney characters. Featuring spectacular new performances from your favorite artists. The excitement of being here on Christmas, it just never ends. Join us this Christmas morning on ABC. Coming up... That was amazing! <laughs> that was like, oh, shit, dude, so many buttons. Portugal the Man brings cheer to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Plus, a behind-the-scenes look at Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I feel honored that I've been allowed to continue the journey. And Sting and Shaggy come together for a magical finale. When the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration returns. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. Marker, <laughs> I love it. Everyone smile. <gasps> now be silly. Our favorite thing about the holidays is being together with family. And, and the, the food. food. <laughs> Welcome back. Our next group has a name as unique as their sound. Direct from Batu, beneath the Millennium Falcon at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, welcome back, Portugal the Man. So this is Christmas. What have you done? Just be gone. So this is Christmas. I hope you have fun. Near and the dear one. The old and the young. A very merry Christmas. And a happy new year. 
no, you definitely have to try Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, it is a classic ride. I think you're going to love it. Whoa, R2, uh, what's up? What's going on? Uh, okay, uh, get ready, because I think R2-D2 has an important transmission coming in. Whoa, whoa, guys, yeah, I know, just relax. Okay, R2, he's on it, he's got this. You know, the impact that Star Wars has had over generations of fans is almost immeasurable. And with each new film in the Star Wars universe, all new generations of fans discovered that there are no limits to the imagination and everything is possible. And that includes the newest chapter of the saga, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, in theaters on December 20th. And I, for one, can't imagine my own childhood without these Star Wars movies and also all of these amazing characters. All right, I think the message is ready. Let's take a look at the incredible legacy of Star Wars. Take a few minutes for the Navi computer to calculate the coordinates. A few minutes? Are you kidding? At the rate they're gaining? Uh, you know, what is it? <laughs> you have to shoot this. Traveling through hyperspace is like dusting ain't like dusting crops, kid. Without precise calculations, we fly too close to a store. <laughs> they're bouncing to a supermarket and then... <laughs> Yeah. It'd be a hell of a mess. What's that? Watch. It's, we're losing the deflector shields. Go strap yourselves in. Be careful on the way out. Yeah, sure. I'm taking big calls. You <laughs> go away. Bounce too near a supermarket? <laughs> this is a very simple, basic idea. It's a story about a farm boy in Nebraska and not on Tatooine. It was originally designed to be a modern fairy tale. About good and evil, you know, and what prevails and what doesn't prevail. It's unlimited, the possibilities of what they can do. If this one doesn't work out, we're sort of finished. But hopefully it will justify it as a series, make you say, gee, what happens next? The whole experience has been so completely unanticipated. I had my doubts about whether another Star Wars would work. But I now get that phrase, thank you for my childhood, because it's something that people carry with them now forever and ever and ever. As I have seen it, this has nothing to do with past, present, or future. Star Wars could be in any of those areas. It's a big part of what makes these films so important to pass on from generation to generation. I feel honored that I've been allowed to continue the journey. It's very cool to meet someone inspirational to a generation of moviegoers. Those that have gone before you, incredible artists in their own right. You delve deeper in your appreciation and respect for that. Oh my gosh. It feels like I was just in a time machine and I had traveled back to when they first started filming Star Wars. Roll the cameras. If you're a kid watching this 100 years from now, 500 years from now, me. you see this inevitability, this story conclude in a way that feels thrilling and shocking and funny and emotional and satisfying. I like these films. I think there's a legacy that's important. <laughs> Episode 9 will be a conclusion of a story that is over 40 years in the making. Action! So all stops are out and uh, it's all go. to the wonderful world of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration. From Dancing with the Stars, happy holiday to everyone. Well, hey everybody, from Dancing with the Stars, we want to wish you a wonderful holiday season. May your holidays be filled with love, joy. Hi, I'm Gina Carano. 
Wishing you a magical holiday season. And don't forget to watch The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. Welcome back. We've had an amazing time ringing in the holidays here tonight. You know, we started by lighting up Cinderella Castle, and now it's time to do the same thing right here at Disneyland Resort. So, ladies and gentlemen, an event you will see nowhere else in the world but here. It's time now to light up Sleeping Beauty Castle. Is truly a spectacular castle lighting and now we have officially kicked off the holiday season so let's head back over to Walt Disney World Resort for our grand finale performance over to you Emma and Matthew thanks Jesse that was absolutely stunning I've got to hand it to you Emma you are one serious holiday celebrator I know I didn't think the holidays could get any more special but then I came to Walt Disney World Resort Thank you, Disney. I will never forget it. Thank you to Jesse Palmer, to all of tonight's talented performers, and especially to our fans here and all around the world. Oh, hold on. I almost forgot something. What? I've got something special for you. Oh. There you go. Twinsies! Twinsies! I guess that makes me a holiday fanatic too, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> now our final performance of the night. He's a rock icon whose latest album titled My Songs features contemporary interpretations of his most celebrated hits. And his new Las Vegas residency is set to open at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace next year. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sting! Happy
Efebos, give it up for my favorite Jamaica. Shaggy! Yo ho, yo ho, the Disney life for me. One more time. Yo ho, yo ho, the Disney life for me.